Hello to all my wonderful subscribers. Today I have a special episode dedicated to the questions you left under one of my previous videos. I would like to answer them and also help you with filling in the information about DNS names in your netbooks. Then I will guide you through each step of installing and setting up the script that I discussed in my previous video. This script will be helpful for you if you want to expand and enhance uh, the functionality of your netbooks. With the official Python website and locate the download section, you will be presented with different installation options. It's recommended to choose the install now option, which includes all the necessary components. I choose different location. By default, Python will be installed in the directory specified by the installer. Python now successfully installed on your computer. You can start writing and executing Python code using prompt or terminal. Let's go to GitLab. Open and copy the script from my repository to the computer. Open Notepad++ and paste the script copied from the repository. Save it. I will save it in the Python folder. Now let's install the necessary Python modules. The modules has been successfully installed. Let's go to the netbooks and see what we have. As you can see, there is nothing here. Now let's run the script. We are informed that the model 6 is missing, so we will install it now. The modules has been successfully installed. Run the script again and we get an error. I didn't create a token and didn't change it in the script. Let's go to the net netbox, create a token and make the necessary changes in the script and then run the script again.
the script is working. Let's refresh the page and now you can see the existing host in my subnet. Now I want to show you how to resolve DNS names with Python and add them to Netflix. First, import the socket module. Next, we will add a parameter called DNS name, which is equal to the first value from the return dictionary. If our DNS name cannot be resolved, the script will throw an error. So we will add an exception condition. In case of unresolved DNS, we create an IP without a DNS name. We also add the name process when updated an IP. Run and add the script. Now you can see field IP addresses with DNA names.